Hello YouTube, this is a follow up to my recent alert video about uh, New Maya Station and uh, Nibiru. Uh, unfortunately a lot of people were actually uh, taking the video seriously without um, watching it properly or they've been looking at the title and not even watching the video and, and deciding oh it's just another Nibiru fake, which it, it actually was. Um, I just want to clarify things here, the, the video was um, a, a joke and the intention of the video was to expose that, that these Nibiru sightings from the Antarctic uh, are just nonsense. Uh, we're going to take another look at this. Um, first of all we're going to look at some um, images that have been um, posted uh, before. Um, this is back from the, the 12th of um, November um, showing the sun just going out of screen and then we see uh, this lens flare which people have been claiming is uh, Nibiru uh, there it is. I'll just zoom in on one of these so we can get a, a better look. This is the object that people have been claiming is, is Nibiru. Okay. And then if we go back to the 18th of November 2012, uh, latest images I'm just going to step through um, and the sun is about to rise on the right hand side. And what do we see? We see one of the Nibiru images parked right in front of the new Maya Station building. I'll just step through again, we can see it moving along and then as the sun comes in it fades out. There's the sun with the black dot in front of it which is just the CMOS sensor in the camera is overloading because of the intense light of the sun. It's not Nibiru's moon or Nibiru in front of the sun, it's just sensor overload, nothing else. Again we see lens flare over here, let's see what else we can find. Okay, here are a couple of other lens flares that people have been saying are the uh, red and blue Kachina. Well if you check some of the other videos you'll notice that they're actually down on the ground here so they can't be, uh, they can't be the red and blue Kachina. Here they are, down on the ground, nothing but lens flare. Okay, let's go back and take another look at that lens flare in front of um, you may have station there it is, there's a good shot of it. Right there and back to the other image that we were looking at. It's basically the same thing. Notice that the bright side of it, th those are the um, um, that's light coming off the sun there, the, the sun is just out of frame over here. Notice that the, the bright side of the lens flare is on the right hand side away from the sun and if we go back to this one again the sun is over on this side here and the bright side is on this side of it. Now if this was really an object then the bright side would be facing the sun, it wouldn't be on the opposite side. So my apologies to the people who thought that I was serious with my video, um, it was intended to be light hearted, unfortunately some people have a very short attention span or they just look at titles and don't watch the video so I hope that's cleared that up for people. Thank you for watching and as always check out my Facebook discussion page Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. I'll put a link in the, in the description area for you. Thank you for watching.